I'm Scott Weiss from the Interior Veterinary College, and I deal with infectious diseases. And while we do a pretty good job of treating infectious diseases, we're focusing more on preventing them, because it's much better to prevent disease and prevent the outbreak than try to manage a problem after. Well, now we're at a training stable, and as opposed to a track where a lot of different horses from different areas are coming together, we're in a facility where we have a lot of resident horses that have lived together for maybe some period of time, but also one where horses are coming and going to races, to sales, and between trainers. So we have a moderate degree of risk here because of that horse movement. Most horses in training are going to be healthy, but every once in a while there will be a sick horse. And the key is identifying those sick horses as soon as possible, knowing what to do with them and making sure that gets done. Another part of that is communications, because we want to know when there's that first sick horse, not when there's the tenth sick horse. So making sure people communicate to understand if there's maybe been an infectious disease, so we can intervene quickly and properly. So one of the important things to have in a facility like this is a plan on monitoring horses, identifying sick horses, and what to do when a sick horse is identified to make sure that we don't see things spread around. We also need plans on what to do with new horses. New horses are gonna pose some greater risk potentially because they're coming in from other areas and we may not know as much about them. So how to quarantine them, how to monitor them, and how to make sure they don't bring something into the group. At the same time, we wanna make sure something that's here doesn't go elsewhere, and that's making sure horses are healthy before they leave, making sure we never take a horse off the property that has a fever, has a new cough, has some new runny nose, or something that might indicate an infectious disease. So sometimes we talk about biosecurity, and sometimes we talk about infection control. Usually those two terms are used interchangeably, but really they're a bit different. Biosecurity is trying to prevent things from coming onto the property. And infection control is trying to contain the risks that we always have. And in a training facility, we really have both aspects. We're trying to prevent new things from coming in, but we're also trying to contain any problems that we know are there. Every horse has some degree of risk of passing on a virus or a bacterium to another horse. So we're trying to manage that at the same time, preventing worse problems from coming into the property. One thing everyone should do periodically is look at their barn and look at their practice from an infection control standpoint. Stand back, apart from the daily activities, and look at how things are laid out, what the surfaces are like, what's being done, how people are moving, how horses are moving, because we can always do something. We can't do everything, but we can always make some improvements. A horse spends a lot of time in a stall, and obviously what we're looking for in a stall is one that can keep the horse healthy, happy, and safe. And part of that is reducing the risk of infection. The stall should be a fairly safe environment, but there's some things that can happen as horses go down the line and have contact with other horses. As people go down the line and use their hands, to have contact with other horses, or things that can be passed horse to horse through the stall. So part of having a good stall is thinking about how do we reduce those risks of direct and indirect contact. Do we have surfaces that we can clean and disinfect well? Do we have balls that go high enough that the horses can't have nose to nose contact? Do we have areas that we can clean and disinfect if there's a problem? We're outside now, we can see that we've got a variety of paddocks and they pose some risk, but they also have some advantages. There's some good advantages for horse health, obviously. And we have some good things that help prevent infectious diseases. We have sunlight, we have rain, we have things that kill bacteria and viruses that can get out of the horse. We also have some concerns though. We have horses that can be mixing together, going in one paddock after another. We have things that can be deposited on fence rails. So there are things that we have to do to reduce the risk. As you can see here, we have separation between the paddocks. Horses can't go nose to nose. The more that we can prevent direct contact and indirect contact between horses, the more we can do, reduce the risk. So by keeping horses apart, by keeping groups of horses in the same types of paddocks by identifying healthy horses and making sure only healthy horses go into a paddock so we don't have to deal with a problem later, we can reduce the risk of things being passed around. 